we are from IT to F, and this video will enlighten you guys about input, input device in Samsung Gear S2. S2. What is an input device? An input device is any hardware device that sends data to a computer. In this case, the Samsung Gear S2 computing system, which allows users to interact with and control the computer. The concept of Samsung Gear S2 is that it is more than a watch and smarter than a watch such as the usage of the bezel. The bezel can change user interface UI. If you rotate it to the left, it shows notification, while if you rotate it to the right, it shows the apps. The bezel is an analog input. Interesting, so what's a pedometer? Oh, a pedometer helps us to track our progress on how far we have jogged. Doesn't that mean that in the long run, it can motivate us to run and be healthier? Yes, exactly. Because Healthy. it can keep track of how far we've run. Yeah. That's an interesting... This is Samsung Gear S2. The newer, more improved S2 has the rotating bezel as a new feature. The rating bezel enables users to navigate and quickly access notifications and applications without the traditional swiping motion. The bezel can change user interface or UI. If you rotate it to the left, it shows notifications. Meanwhile, if you rotate it to the right, it shows the apps. As shown on the screen, we have two watches. On the left, we have the Samsung Gear S, and on the right, we have the Samsung Gear S2. Now, the most obvious difference between these two models is the bezel, which is a new feature on the Samsung Gear S2, compared to the touchscreen feature on Samsung Gear S. The bezel is undeniably a very interesting and cool new feature. However, in the long run, it can actually be very irritating due to its impracticality. For example, when we are in a hurry, we simply do not have the leisure time to turn the bezel to open an app or read a message. In this case, the Samsung Gear S counterpart with its swiping feature is more convenient to use in a hurry, as shown. Besides that, with prolonged usage, the bezel could risk getting loose and any excessive movements can just turn on the watch easily. This would over-increase the sensitivity of the watch and could be irritating in the long run. Next, the dual microphone. The dual microphone in the Samsung Gear S2 helps a lot in reducing background noises and these lead to a more clear and accurate sound compared to a single microphone in the Samsung Gear S. Next, the pedometer. This feature focuses to make an impact on a person to keep them on track for a healthy lifestyle. For instance, the pedometer will help to track the number of footsteps of the owner and this will encourage them to walk more because we know that the more we walk a day, the healthier we'll be. Why the component is upgraded? The change was made because Samsung Gear S was too large as mentioned by reputable review sites. Bezel was introduced to make Samsung Gear S2 as a unique and innovative smartwatch. It is an intuitive and a practical way to navigate the interface of the smartwatch especially since the screen is rather small. Lastly, the dual microphone was installed in Samsung Gear S2 because it helps to reduce the background noise which will result in a better and clearer sound. What changes do we predict for the future model of Samsung Gear S2? Firstly, it will have at least 5 megapixels of camera. By having a camera, we can at least capture the moment or scenery when we are doing our exercise or jogs outdoor. Secondly, enabling to reply messages by words as the current model we can only reply by sending emojis. Lastly, the current model has only 70% of accuracy for voice transcription. Therefore. We're expecting them to improve their accuracy to 90% in the next model.